The Group Linux access control terminal is what I have here today for you. A Hikvision Pro Series DS-K1A804 terminal. And except the box contents and the features, I'm going to show you how to activate it from a scratch via a manufacturer CADP and IVMS software. How to add a user, how to uh, bring up, how to bring in a fingerprint, cards and codes and and how to set up the entire system overall. And then you can go to the People System Store website and get this device within a worldwide delivery. So go there, specify your subscribe, and get your special offer right away. I'm Daniel, breaking in. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Let's begin from the box contents and the appearance. And within the box, Contents of 804 Access Control Terminal, we have this pack, well, this regular pack with a details in eight parts, and we have a quick start guide, we have a mounting template sticker, a firmware CD, and of course, a screws and, a, and the screwdriver. And, well, yeah, and, and anchors, of course. And here's the exact device. It has also a metal bracket here. Oh stuck in here and a bunch of communication tails well along with the uh, power supply and rs485 so the exact device is actually plastic and beginning from top we have here a 2.4 inch 320 by 240 lcd screen to display a time date and also the authentication results below it we see a standard 1 to 0 keypad with the escape okay and the direction buttons a doorbell chime button and a fingerprint reader module and also this panel is also capable of reading a cut and under the cover on the side we have a usb input reset button and a speaker on the opposite side the back of the device fits in a tamper button here we have the internet cable input rs485 dual lock terminal here is it and l 20 volt power supply interface and uh, as there's no any power supply unit in the box, uh, it, it's meaning like you have to get one more additionally or connected to a power source you already have, like a mechanical chimes one if you got some. Uh, so what can I tell about a device? The S-K1A804 represents an access control both with the attendance functionality. Different users are having unique identifiers and we're always able to view an events log and be aware of which user have used a terminal and in which time he did, actually. So this one is standalone and it does not require any additional appliances. Right here, right on the spot, we can make all the settings and put all the users and all their details. And so the key feature here is the authentication via a fingerprint via a card and via a code and the numbers are quite great which is 3000 users maximum and to every single of them you can assign a card a passcode and a fingerprint and the amount of 10 for every single person and the event storing capacity reaches up to a hundred thousand records and a hundred and 50,000 attendance records for this thing. And well, of course, we can uh, fill a database remotely or right here directly via this terminal. And that data with a card and attendance information can be exported via the USB. Yeah, we got an input in here. And also this terminal can be connected to third-party bells and alarm sensors, to doors and locks and etc. There's a lot of stuff. And uh, now let's start it up. Activate and add a few users, any company. And here's my elementary scheme. So you see here is a 12 volt power adapter plus a connector I got in here, plus a uh, power wire from the box that I take from here, plus the LEN cable, here it comes from this. And as you can see, it is turned on. So LEN, power, and other stuff. And now we're gonna switch the computer to activate it via manufacturer software, which is a CADP tool and the IVMS software. And be sure to have those before proceeding to the next part. And so here we are in from the computer and now we're going to activate the terminal we have and thus we need the Hikvision software which is the first the CADP tool and here we go for it and as you can see DS-K1T804MF-1 here is inactive and the first step we're going to activate it so we check here and create a password and I'm doing it too I'm going to do that too and pressing deactivate Okay, we got the error, 
and I know what it is. This is actually, well, honestly, a very common mistake for equation. And so we gotta go to the network settings into the adapter options. And now you see I'm connected to a Wi-Fi name studio. So I'm going to properties and, and I'm connected to the IPv4. So what I do, I go for the manual se settings. And as you can see, IPv4 address here of this panel is a Hikvision standard, which is a 192.0.0.6.4. So I input it right in here with a one exclusion. Let it be a one or two, but any, I mean, any number up to 255, but not a 64 because in that case we'll get a conflict. So as we do, and we activate a subnet mask. And we press in OK. And OK again. And now we'll get this identified network. But if we'll get back to the CDP and we still can see a panel, meaning we are in the right way. So we check here again and input in the password one more time. And press in the activate. And so the device is activated. Now you can see this, a very common mistake. Hikvision are not telling about this, but well, at least you know from here, which is just great. All right, so uh, the device is activated. Let's refresh and I'll show you the status has changed to active, which is great. And now I gotta, um, well, input here my IP address so I can use the internet actually, because I kind of uh, don't have any internet access at the moment because I'm in this subnet. So, I'm doing a uh, 1291681 and let it be and let it be like I mean any number mm, let it be this and uh, the same for here except it's gonna be one one and uh, doing this and yeah you gotta do this too actually and of course check the enable hit connect and now I'm checking again, pressing the modify, and everything should be just fine. So it may say you got an error, but anyway, it did update it. So if we refresh, if we check here, you see the address we've inputted. So everything, everything is just okay. And that's why we are uh, switching our settings back which is the I uh, dynamic IP and okay and okay one more time identifying and I'm getting a dynamic studio Wi-Fi which is just great and now we're gonna head to the uh, IVMS software after we have done this well we can we can go for a second time and just uh, and check here yeah no fresh yeah everything's just great and I'm gonna add this into the our uh, IVMS so we grab it and Put it in here in name i a terminal and uh username admin is default and the password uh, we have just created and so you see the address is the one that i can put it and of course it's going to be waste time pressing add button wait a few seconds and it should be just fine i hope oh yeah device time synchronized and now you see it's pretty strong net status it is online and i got all the device information so yeah it's just great after we've added uh, this whole thing inside of the device management tab we're going to the access control because this is what we have to do and first thing here this is the first tab a company a person a card and other stuff and, and so what we do we add a company organization which is a people systems we know where we are and okay and yeah this is great and now we add a person and so that would be me, person number is one, name is Daniel, phone number, I don't care right now. Uh, here, all right, there's a really old guy. And uh, now we're gonna add a card. So I here have a Mifair card, and I'm not gonna in, uh, well, press hold near the reader that the device has. I, uh, well, I, honestly, technically, I cannot show you this right now, but I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate you the whole principle in the end of this video. And so, we add a card. So yeah, the success control, and we pick this entrance card, reader one, and uh, press read. And now I'm pressing the card on the terminal. Please authenticate again. And here we are. 
stop reading, even though it's, it, it did, it, it gave us error, but we got our card free read. Yes, there we go. Uh, have a card. Now I'm gonna uh, have a fingerprint collected. So remote collected, select a device, the only one I have in here, and selecting a finger. Place your finger. It tells me to press my finger. Place your finger again. And that's what I do, and I'm doing it one more Registry time. Failed. And it's failed. <laughs> and I don't know why, but I'm gonna try again, because maybe because my finger, something runs, something runs my finger. Uh, Place okay. your finger. Doing it again. Place your finger again. Did it? Great. Successful register retire. Successful! Yeah! Press and stop. And here I got all I need. After I got the fingerprint, I go into the card back and I'm gonna link a fingerprint to a card and press OK. Uh, and also I'm gonna input a card password, which will be one 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 one. Four times one. Okay, which is okay. And uh, now I'm pressing OK. And everything regarding that person uh, was, see, it was collected, it was saved on a memory. Now I'm gonna uh, make a few rules. So I gotta, uh, well, create some permissions in here. So let it be a inference, yeah? Uh, let's imagine this is the inference door, yeah? A main, main building inference, right. And here I got a company inside the same people. I have a uh, device, that's what I do now. Check in here and press OK. And now all the data will be loaded into a memory of a terminal we have. And now we close, and now we can actually get in by scanning the, a card and putting a, our finger. So, let me try. Please authenticate again. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, confirmed. It was a fingerprint. Thank you. And that was a card. Now I'm gonna show you right in the end. Right in the end. But here's how it's actually happening. And so yeah, here you can uh, add in multiple organizations, in multiple devices, multiple users, and create a different uh, authentication ways for them. Like there should be some attendance rule. Uh, also, yeah. There's the time and attendance, and this is what we can do here. And also, uh, yeah, I already have the permissions. Here's the details, the credentials, and I'm just, just okay, just okay, everything's just all right. Here's, by the way, uh, the schedules. Here's the settings. Oh, yeah, you got nothing? Yes, and that is what I wanted to do. I wanted to add a few new rules so I can uh -huh, so I can get in by a there we go so I can get in mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah and here we are everything's just ready so here's here's how it happens if you got any questions left well right right down in the comment section and now let me demonstrate you how just that works and here's the Mayfair card I have, and here's the finger I have. And here's actually that user up free. Remember Daniel of the 79, uh, born year, which is... <laughs> and uh, this is how it happens. Thank you put it in here. Thank you. Confirmed. Thank you. And my fingerprint too. And well, like, this is it. Now let's sum up all this thing. It's an access control, a time attendance, even a kind of a doorbell functionality in here. <laughs> I'm impressed. This terminal is fully standalone and yet you can drop a data to it remotely. It integrates with a third-party alarm sensors, doors and locks and there's a three authentication ways, which is a fingerprint, card and a passcode. And all this makes a Hikvision DS-1804 terminal a great choice. So go get it officially on the Google System Store website, there's an a worldwide delivery for you and specify your subscribe to get a special offer. And like, thank you for watching. Your uh, protection and your knowing your surroundings are the main goals in the people systems.